let's now create the first of two circuits. We will configure the 555 chip in monostable mode. This is also known as one-shot, meaning that when a positive signal is supplied to the 555, it will output a high signal for a set amount of time. For the monostable circuit, we need the following components. A 9 volt DC power supply, a 100 kilo ohm resistor, this is R1, a 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor, a 50 microfarad capacitor, this is C1, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, a push button switch, and a signal LED with appropriate current limiting resistor. The resistor R1 and capacitor C1 are important as they control the time that pin 3 will output a high signal. Before beginning the build, it is a good idea to lay the components out so the wiring will be minimal. We also need to add a ground point to the negative terminal of the power supply and to the ground pin. With pin 1 now connected to ground, we then connect pin 8, the VCC pin, to the power supply. Pin 4, the reset pin, also connects to the power supply. Then it is connected to R1. R1 is connected to C1, then connected to ground. From R1, we make another connection to the pull-up resistor. The pull-up resistor is the same as a normal resistor. Its function is just to limit the current that can flow. The pull-up resistor is then connected to the switch and the other end of the switch connected to ground. Pin 2, the trigger pin, is connected between the switch and the pull-up resistor. Pin 7, the discharge pin, is connected between R1 and C1. Pin 6, the threshold pin, is connected with pin 7. Pin 5, the control pin, is connected to the 100 nanofarad capacitor. The capacitor then connects to ground. And lastly, pin 3, the output pin, is connected to the resistor and LED and then to ground. The time in which the output signal stays high is calculated by using the following formula. Time equals 1.1 multiplied by R1 multiplied by C1. So time equals 1.1 multiplied by 100,000 ohms multiplied by 0 0.00005 farads. So time equals 5.5 seconds. Let's now run the simulation and see the working model. When we press the button, the LED lights for 5.5 seconds we can see the time the signal stays high by using the waveform viewer. Adjusting R1 and C1 will adjust the amount of time that pin 3 gives a high signal. Build the circuit in EC and experiment with the timing output to learn more. The monostable circuit could be used to control a solenoid's valve and when the button is pressed the valve would release liquid for a set amount of time. Or the push button switch could be replaced by a PIR sensor which would mean when someone went within range of the sensor it would turn on a light for a set amount of time. This would save energy and replace any mechanical switching. Let's now move on to part 3, 
to build the A-stable circuit.